Hey everyone, this right here is called the butterfly. It is a technique in the art of contact juggling and I'm gonna teach you how to teach yourself how to do this, hopefully in less than five minutes. So let's get forward, shall we? First thing you wanna do is pick a ball out. The best balls out there are probably gonna be your acrylic balls. This is a three inch acrylic ball. This is the one I recommend most people start with. However, if you only have access to a billiard ball, or a lacrosse ball, or those little metal balls with the chimes inside. Those are called Chinese medicine balls or Asian health balls. You spin them around your palm like that. Those work perfectly fine too, and that's what I learned with for the first two years of my contact juggling career. I've been contact juggling since I was 15. I'm 37 now, so that's a little more than half my life. And let's get started, shall we? So safety is very, very important. Be aware of your surroundings. A little bit of foresight, a little bit of common sense goes a long way. You wanna place that ball on the back of your peace sign fingers. This is called a cradle. These two fingers, you wanna place it right there at the base of your knuckles, just so. Some people out there will argue that a three finger cradle is better than a two finger cradle. People are gonna argue about all sorts of stuff. My point here is to focus on the two finger cradle for now, and maybe you can work on the three fingered cradle later, but that's entirely up to you. So you put the ball in the back of your hand, and the first thing you really, really want to focus on is slowly rolling it on the back of the fingers. The slower you roll it, just like this, the faster you're going to learn. The whole point of this exercise is to train the body to recognize where the sphere is on the back of the hand and get used to that sensation of the ball rolling on the back of the hand. Because if you pay close attention, you'll realize this ball is going between my two fingers on the back of the hand and on the front of the hand. Now chances are you're more familiar with the front of your hand than the back of the hand. Therefore we start with the back of the hand. We want to do the hard part first to get that out of the way. And a lot of people don't really want to believe me when I say that you want to roll it on the back of the fingers and that this is the main exercise that gets you started in the art of contact juggling, the butterfly technique. So when you think you've done this long enough, you should probably do it longer. I'm not kidding around. This is a very, very important step that many people want to skip past. Get to know the back of the fingers. Get comfortable with the cradle on the back of the hand. This is very important for the butterfly. There's no substitutions, there's no way to skip past it. Watch your favorite cartoon or something. Put something on the TV or do something else where you can do this uh, with your subconscious. Just roll it back and forth on the back of the fingers and explore that sensation. Make that foreign feeling a familiar feeling. Moving forward, the next thing we want to focus on is moving up and down. Very, very slightly, just a couple inches and then down further. Every time we want to go a little bit higher and drop a little bit faster. We want to ease into this. We want to go nice and slow and nice and easy and slowly bring it higher each time we try and bring it down a little bit faster. Now what this is supposed to do in theory is show us how to catch the ball on the back of the hand a lot easier with less dropping. But start small. Start small because you don't want to be dropping this all over the place and spend more time chasing after a ball that rolls away from you than actually learning the technique. So take it from me, I've taught hundreds and hundreds, maybe even thousands, probably thousands of people how to do this technique. And this is probably the fastest way I've seen people learn how to do it is following these steps here in this video. So once you've played with this technique and you can bring it up and down into a near free fall speed and still have a control of it on the back of the hand, now we'll move on to form. So now we wanna take the ball on the back of our hand, place it next to our opposite armpit, and we want to keep the fingers all the way open, keep the wrist nice and straight, and we're going to push through the ball. It's gonna feel like the ball is stuck on the back of the hand. But if you push through the ball, the ball will roll over the tops of your fingers and into the palm of your hand. Moving from the back of the hand to the front of the hand is by far a lot easier than moving from the front of the hand to the back of the hand. But if you take the time, the patience, and the dedication to push through the ball in an arc. You want to go up, over, and back. Avoid doing this. This is a no-no. This is not going to teach you what you need to know. You want to go as wide and up and over as you can. Make a big arc in order to execute a butterfly or a windshield wiper in this case in an effective way. So the windshield wiper is when you go back and forth with a fixed point. See my elbow is stuck in one area just like this. More or less it's bouncing a bit. So this is a windshield wiper, but a butterfly is when you move the whole pattern around into a figure eight and it looks really beautiful, just like that. And that about wraps it up, folks. This is a beginner level video that teaches you how to teach yourself the very fundamental basics in learning how to do the butterfly. If you wanna know more in-depth tutorial, please check out my very, very first video on the art of contact juggling in my playlist section, Contact Juggling Tutorials. And it's a 28 minute long video that teaches you all sorts of other stuff and puts a lot more information there and in-depth detail. So if you're more of the kind of learner that wants to 
practice along with me, you can watch that video. And this video right here should teach you how to teach yourself the very, very basics and how to get started with the butterfly. And that concludes my video on the condensed version of how to do the butterfly here on my YouTube channel. Thanks very much for watching. Please check out my playlist section here on my channel. I have a bunch of content I post every single day for the year of 2021 here on YouTube. And I organized everything nice and neat so it makes it easier for you to find something that might pique your interest. And I'll end this video the way I've been ending all my videos lately with these words. Remember to never give up. Do your best. Stay true to you and who you are and what you stand for. And be amazing. All you have to do to be amazing is to be the best version of who you are. Exactly who you are. Be the best version of yourself. Thanks very much for watching, folks. And I'll see you in the next video. Good night.